day. So the first one I'd like to think about is ignoring the competition. And you can see here I've got a picture of, of someone looking a bit arrogant, like I know it all, I'm the king, right? Now can you imagine, can you imagine what, on, what do you think some entrepreneurs might say about the competition? What do you think some entrepreneurs, maybe you've said the same thing. What do you think they sometimes say about the competition? Any ideas? I got the yeah, I'm better than them. I'm better than the competition. Yes, they can say that. What else do you think they might say? Yep, they could say that too, right? Now, Sergio, he knows all the answers, so. <laughs> Who else? What else? What do you think? What would be, what would be one of the, what might be one of the mistakes, one of the things that an entrepreneur could say about, about the competition that is, sounds like a mistake? We're not competing in their market, which is another way of saying, I've got... Complete my sentence. There is no competition. I haven't got any competition. I've heard that. You would not, you would be, well, you might be surprised how often I have heard that said. Some entrepreneurs claim to have no competition. Right. Or well, the incumbents, you know, they, they're not a threat. I'm better than them. I don't know if you've heard anyone say that. You know, you talk to them about your startup or your new idea, and you say, well, who's the competition? They say, oh, we haven't got any. We're the first. We're the only ones. You would be surprised how often you, I hear that. My students still say it to me. Right? Now, what do you think if, if someone says that to you? So... Or others analyze the competition, as Sergio was doing, yeah? and then they, they ignore the future threats. They say, oh, they're, they're not making that product. We're the only ones doing that. Right? But, of course, they've got a laboratory, they've got a product line, and you don't know what they're doing yet. So I see these sorts of things happening all the time. Now, what do you think? How, what do you think? If, if you were an investor, imagine you're an investor, a venture capitalist, or imagine you're the general manager of a division of, well, Fiat, or, eh? or any. You're a, you're a, and someone sums you and says, well, who's the competition? Eh? Or the venture capitalist says to you, the investor says, who's your competition? And your reply is, there's no competition. What might you think if you were the investor or the general manager? What might you think if someone says there's no competition? He right. He's not connected to reality. You know, has this person really done their homework? Right. What else might you think? If there's no competition, any ideas? He's lying. He's lying? Right? That's possible too. Right? This guy just wants approval. He just wants my money. So he's not telling me the truth. That's a possibility. Yeah? Right? All right. Well, these are good. Yeah. Right. They haven't searched widely enough. Right? Have you looked at not only who's the competition today, but who could be the competition tomorrow? And then have you checked often? Maybe you did your analysis last year. But what's happening today? And I've seen this. I've seen entrepreneurs who've done their business plan. They did their analysis a year ago, right? And they say, well, when did you last check? Did you go back and check? What have you done this week? Oh, uh, well, we wrote the business plan six months ago. Yeah? 
And then a venture capitalist or an investor might say, look, ask yourself, right, is there a market out there if there's no competition? If nobody's competing, if nobody's doing anything, is there a market for this? What's going on? So in fact, having competition, in fact for me as an investor, having some competition is actually good news. Because it proves to me that mm, there's probably a market here. It also proves to me that you've done your homework and you know what, what is happening in the real world. So it's interesting. Some entrepreneurs, they think that if I admit there's competition, people are go it's going to sound like a weakness or a problem. For me, having competition is actually a good sign if you can then prove to me that you can win or you might win.